So welcome everyone to another one of my terrible reviews. I'm really good at these. I usually ruin the product or it breaks. I usually haven't done any research. I don't really know much about the product, but I'm going to break my glove and use it anyway. Right, let's get another glove. So hopefully I inspired you to carry on watching. Anyway, someone bought this for me. My old man bought this for me, which was very kind. He'd seen a load of adverts like I had. Now, while I dismissed them thinking I can't bother to spend my money on that, he bought it for me. So that was nice. This is called, this is made by True Tension. Probably needed that bit. Uh, True Tension. And it's the wheel guard cleaning system. So I'm not sure if you meant to, I'm not even going to look at the instructions. I'm just literally going to fail at them. Yeah, that didn't work very well. So I think the first thing I need to do is cut this out to the size of my wheel, somehow. Let's check the instructions. Measure the diameter of the hub which holds the sprocket brake disc. Take this dimension just behind the... Measure the measurement of the hub. Cut the motor ground guard along the suitable measure line. Once cut to side, insert it. Right, I'm going to measure and cut. 155 by eye. 155 and we have 160. So let's go with 160. So I'll go and cut this out and come back and try again. I'm back. So, top tips, so that you don't do what I did and stand there moaning about their terrible design actually isn't that bad actually, is that when measuring you'll see on here that there is dashed lines and solid lines and you're trying to work out which line relates to the measurement. Well the measurement is dashed which means it's the dashed line, the measurement next one is a solid line which means that one, that dashed line is the next dashed line and so on and so forth and of course although it's five mil increments across that equals ten because you double it. So that was the other thing. I used the bluntest pair of scissors and it worked. So it's actually easy to cut which is nice. So then we open this up, apparently, slide that, slide, slide that in, that looks easier on the advert, slide, slide that in, just like that, easy as pie, slide the front piece, just get, would you, just, thank you, over like that, and then, um, that's it apparently. So, I think the idea is that when I turn the wheel that doesn't turn, oh, like that, don't know why, ah, keep catching on that, do I put that behind that one, like so, and I sort of have to hold it, oh, do I hold it at the top, nope, it does the same thing, okay, fastened pending, needs a bit of work, but um, sure, Maybe I'll read the instructions again. <laughs> Once cut, insert the guard between the sprocket, brake disc, and wheel. Clean the chain and sprocket. Guard guard will catch the overspray. Right. Um, yeah. So, just so you know, I have a phaser. Pretty common thing. Um, it seems to sit in the wheel okay, but it catches on the disc, so you've got to kind of hold it a little bit, I think. Yeah, and fold that over so it doesn't scratch the top of my wheel. Right, well, let's give it a try. We've got cleaner and lube. Give it a good shake. Let's... Ah, that's really irritating. I think the other way is going to be better. I think, personally. I would think so. So I put my knee foot on that or something, hold that in place. Yeah, that seems fine. That is annoying. I suppose you could heat it up and bend it a little bit. Yeah. You know, I get the idea. Just kind of keep the wheel clean, I guess. And then put some of this on the spray thingy, on the nozzly thing, the brush. Oh. That's really irritating. So, it's, it's just not straight. I might heat it up, bend it, straighten it and come back. Well, I do like the concept of this, but as you can see, it hasn't gone very well. I was having an issue with it catching, and the only way I could do it was by holding that in with my hand at just the right angle, turning the wheel of my right foot like that, and then cleaning it like with this, which got cramp in my ankle. It then missed um, 
that. I started turning it by hand, it got crunched, it turned upside down and just poured all the fluid everywhere on the floor. And my wheel looks like that. I find the simplest method is just to clean it here, this area here with a cloth behind it, and then I tend to find that that doesn't actually get it all over my wheel. Or just get a rag, a nice clean rag. With a bit of the spray clean fluid on it, spray it on your wheel and just wipe it clean. And that seems to do the job, considering you're probably going to clean your wheel anyway, because you've been out on the bike and all that. So I've got a lot of fluid to clean off all this wheel now. In my opinion, I love the concept. They need to work harder on it to make sure it's not going to catch the chain, because on most sports bikes, the tyres close to the chain, which means this is going to be close to the chain, and then you end up ruining it. I did try and cut out a bit more material to see if it would move a bit better. That didn't seem to make any difference. As I say, I love the idea. And the spray cleaner, really nice product. And I've used about half a can already. Uh, the lube, haven't tried it yet, we'll find out. Also, it smells very nice. This smells nice, and the lube is banana flavoured as well. Not that I'm going to try it. Um, so is it worth the money? Maybe not, maybe just get your usual cleaner. Have a rag handy. Clean it an area where there's nothing around. Uh, otherwise you get a bit frustrated. Anyway. Another useless review by me. Thanks for watching. Hope that was helpful. <laughs>